So I was in a sketch group and I was performing with like a lot of other people and I, I think uh, what attracted me to stand up was just like one voice up there. Like I was dealing with 20 other people in this sketch group and I, I just decided that like, you know, I had something to say and that I wanted to be responsible for my own material and like it's succeeding or failing and I think that's what it attracted it to me. It was like a, some independence. Yeah. I mean, I was fucking scared. Uh, it was like free falling, man. I mean, because you you kind of you copy the people that you think you you know you know you want to be like or that you see like comedy and and, and I guess. Uh, you know, when I was first starting, I like, I kind of felt like I was in a box, like, it's very purist, like, stool, mic stand, mic, you, and like, you are the only one everyone's looking at, and I think for me it was like, it really started to make me look in a mirror and like, reflect inward and be like, what do I think is funny, what, who, uh, how can my performance be accentuated? And, uh, I remember hitting the open mics in Tallahassee where I got started and uh, I did a like, stand up as a character, like a pregnant man whose wife had left him and so he was very depressed and kind of like using comedy to get through it and uh, the host of the open mic told me that I couldn't come back because it wasn't sketch, it was stand up and I felt very like a personal affront uh, because it, he was trying to stop me from, you know, following this thread of what I thought was funny. And um, I, I think I've always been trying to do something outside of the form to try to, like, push the form. Um, and that's always very scary, you know? Like, when we started this tour, I was like, I, 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 I hope I fit in. You know, I hope, and I, I think what all it comes down to, I think the thorough line through all of our answers is just like chasing the laugh. Like you get the laugh, and you're you're there, and it, it, sometimes I feel like I black out and have to like look back on it. And uh, uh, it's very uh, uh, like astral planing kind of situation. But yeah, I was scared as fuck the first time I did it. If I had to give you an answer, I mean, I think it'd be like Killing Me Softly by Dave Chappelle. I mean, I remember seeing that and just like seeing that there was another level of like what comedy could be um, in his newest special, like Bird Revelation, really helped me find some cathartic thoughts about like the current state of our culture. And I think to be funny and to also be like making lasting philosophical comments on like the state of the world is like where I would want to be in comedy um, but I, you know I, I remember like the first time that comedy kind of hit me was uh, watching like Mystery Science Theater 3000 and uh, I think everybody or like I think everybody like sees what they're like someone they look up to at this point it was my stepdad and he would watch it and like laugh and I'd be like holy shit it's making him laugh and he's fucking hilarious like this is some next level shit and uh just like the structure of jokes and the riffing and I I, I think that was really inspiring to me uh, it's not a comedy special but it's it's something that had a lasting effect on me I think. My favorite sitcom is Arrested Development. I think it does like the perfect synthesis of story and joke. Like Arrested Development. Oh um, shit! Yeah, you're they, right. Very like well. the story feeds the joke, which feeds the story, and it's just like this perfect like flow of character and story and jokes. It. Uh, I still rewatch it. Uh, I think every couple months just to like have it in my brain um, when it comes to movies uh, I was thinking of two um, Drop Dead Gorgeous uh, <laughs> which is like this mockumentary style movie from the 90s about uh, a pageant being held in Minnesota and it's just like this amazing fucking film before 
I think mockumentary was even in our like vernacular and I, I think anything that as like a kid we would watch and quote and like use in our daily lives is like funny things like totems to like hold on to and like use to laugh whenever we wanted to was just like that was the shit um and then i also thought about like monty python and the holy grail oh yeah like when you it was like the most nonsensical shit but it made you laugh like <laughs> i don't think of like when they're in the knights of the round table we fight to the fine table and it like cuts down to this guy like dangling and then, and like, snaps, <laughs> like four times like that cutaway was just like the most amazing thing as a kid and then the rabbit biting people's heads off it was just like this is fucking ridiculous uh and i don't know why it's funny but it is and i'm game um sketch shows uh i'm gonna say kids in the hall um i think that's another show where you don't know why it's funny but it is and it's like off-putting and it's weird and like how did this ever get made but it exists <laughs> for real though yeah yeah, yeah. like I'm, yeah. I'm squishing you like oh, with squishing. the head yeah, squishing yeah, yeah. and it's <laughs> like and they i was like the guy that's like uh, talking at the gay bar like you know um it was just so cutting edge and i think it changed the course of sketch comedy in its own little way um those are my three steve martin and he would have me. I want Martin Short as Jiminy Glick. As I'm planning to move to New York, I, I hope that uh, I hope to not go insane in the next five years. Yeah. Because this, this is one of the things that I know I want to be doing, and there's so many other elements of it that kind of muddy the waters when it comes to just doing what you'd like to do and uh, so I'm hoping to uh, find the clarity of just knowing that this is it and in five years I'll be doing it still. I don't have social media but you can check out my stuff uh, Cameron Davis IV.com that's Cameron Davis the fourth dot uh, com uh, I'm always posting the stuff that I'm doing on there and keeping it up to date so if you ever want to see my stuff you can, you can go there uh, my name is Cameron Davis and check me out on a cutiepie.com see you there <laughs>